Now I welcome back that two other movies that came out in the 1980s. The album, I that forgot about it. Yeah, it takes Ghost, 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 Ghostbuster. Yeah, Ghostbuster for the Pioneer movie in 1984. And it returned back in 1989 for the second film. Probably was the Baker year when they do a third film, but they would plan on do it, but it never happened. And for one member no longer with us. And but the three remaining right now um, they decided to count some um the third film because the death of, of one of the cast, I don't know. And, um they apparently went back in the series and um, go go buzz by the way popular in cartoon. In the 1980s, and of course, in the early 90s, so uh, yeah, plus in 1990s, and of course, Wild Shot Story, uh, still going on in the early 90s, and of course, one principal joined Sturdy High School in 1988, yeah, Miss Marlowe, yep, Miss Marlowe, uh. Became Sterling High School principal in 1988. And um, they went a couple of years before we, they acquired a student to wear a uniform. And I know my brother remember that way before Hurricane, there were a lot of different principals. They could have one favorite NBA star who went to Sterling. Something everybody probably know who was uh, the guy who played. Walker Trail Brazen and they played the Houston Rocker who also uh, won a championship in 94 95 season with the Rockets. The answer was God the God Dresser. Yep, he was the basketball star at Sterling High School. Cry now, a lot of kids in the 90s, well, you know, in the early 90s of Sterling High School with all white. Like from eighty nine nine school year, nine ninety one school year, ninety two, ninety three, ninety four, ninety five, well well ninety nine six and then quite around the mid nine by the way, they start with school uniform. And um and a lot of people used to wear they where they wanna wear to school but the inside they got changed because it prevent school violence. A lot of school violence happened during the night, so they decided to call uniform. If I had to, it was the right thing to do to call uniform. I know there's some still don't like it or not. And also during the during the 1990s, Soul Train still the top show and going to music changing. For the new generation, and put Don Cornell was still host of Soul Train in the early 90s. But one thing I never forget um, in the 1993, he stepped out of the host of Soul Train. Uh, that could be, well, be a mystery today why he, he stepped down. But he still appeared on Soul Train until 1997. And of course, uh, yeah, yeah, I know the, the light round. I mean, yeah, anyone's worried about that because it's power. <laughs> but I just want to, um, to get that along more, keep going to what I talk about. Um, in the, in the 90s, you know, when you look for the new generation of music, uh, of course, um, ABD the boys, um, because still got some arms from the 80s, still around, do that thing. And of course, new generation of music in the 90s. And the name that uh, Dr. Dre from the group NWA, Snoop Dogg, Dog, Nas, Jay Z, Destiny Child, Aaliyah, Brandy, and Monica. And Joey C, Boys to Man, 
and much, much more music star, Miss Ari, and the names going on. And first, when I started high school, you got a, a the nineties class of that decade, ninety, ninety one, ninety two, ninety three, ninety four, ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight, and nineteen ninety nine. And of course, it is a conversion. Um, throughout the time of curve, when my old brother started go to that star go start high school, cause I am a, don't know about start high school until nineteen ninety six, when we drove around one day to see what high school get go go to, cause we ain't side with high school. He want to go to yet, cause we ain't know, but. Then I choose to high school. Cause if one walker car went to, but I ain't mentioned that name of the person. Then well, my old boy went to start high school, starting the 1996 school year, 97. Cause the bacon and then everybody take their kids to school, start high school, then you're going to start it. Take a school I have to choose for you. Because they call it rich when in school, but nobody wants to say something negative. There's always a negative thing, and of course, bullying get rid of going a high problem in school now in the 90s. Because um, that's why uh, kids start at class clown. Doing the nineties, you know, fight, violence, steal, object, they always happening in the nineties. Um, by the time um, one school started high school, um, start that twenty fifth anniversary in nine ninety one school year. Then it was. Shake up, and of course, they add a new building that same decade. I don't know what year that bill opened, but it was already there when I came in in 2000. But I talked about the year 2000. There you go. Um, and of course, we got some movies, great movies, cool Terminator 2 Judgment Day, and of course, they found Parker's Black of the Future Part 3, and of course. A lot of other movies. First, Wacky Five came out in nineteen ninety. First, um, three previously two previous Wacky films came out in the nineteen eighties. Was three, four, and five came out by the nineteen ninety. Home Alone came out nineteen ninety. It's the twenty fifth anniversary of Home Alone. This decade, today, make that. About 25 years ago, Home Alone with the hit can move there so well. I know when I was a little kid, I remember that movie, Home Alone. <laughs> In 1991, yeah, Terminator 2 Judgment Day was the all time movie in the 1990s. Was the biggest movie in 1991, where before Top 10. To go with top ten was well, the best movie of the decade. In the 19, when it came out back in 1997. And of course, other movies came out like Die Hard 2, and the first one came out in 1988. And one thing, uh, another one came out Die Hard with the Vengeance. Uh, I got Bruce Ritter with the man. And of course, um, Batman. Uh, came out the first one by the way came out in 1989 and of course the last three came out in the 90s was Batman Return 92 mm-hmm. Batman Forever 95 and Batman and Robin 1997 and of course we got a lot of pop culture cartoon came out during the 90s Mighty Morphin Power Ranger and of course a lot of other hit kids show 
I know Double Dash still had a chunk in the early 90s before the show in 93 and then on the tournament of champion. And also in that same decade, we got other costume uh, with the hit, hit. You know, Tom and Jerry show. I know Red or the Common San Diego, the Tick X Man. I know this is going on in the 90s. Back in the 80s, we got another hit, hit costume, Thunder Cat. Thunder Cat! Oh! And of course, a lot of other hit costumes through that decade in 1980s, as well as the 70s, as well. And of course, the 60s, as well. Well, get back on the 1990s cartoon. Um, speaking of later the year in the 1990s. And plus, um, one thing that's always been important on um, throughout the, the 90s, what things go on the world. I know the bomb in Oklahoma City, 95, of course, before that. A uh, first bombing of the World Trade Center. I know that against that happened during 1993, and of course, 95, no World Center bombing. And of course, 1997, Prince Diane killed in a car crash. And 1998 was the year of scandalism happened in the White House. And of course, 1999, the final year of the decade, you know. You know, we say goodbye to the Astro Dome, the home for the Astro for 35 years. Before they moved to Mini May Park, the fall years later. And, um, that thing changing in the final year of the decade. And, of course, class of 1999, which was the best, but the all time best class of all time, I made to say this, was the class. Oh, 1997. But we're going to get that gold because the 90s and, of course, the 20th century had come to the end. What's going to happen? Um, the new century and plus the, the decade of the double zero and plus the one favorite day. We will never forget that will be coming up on my next video so stick around.